what's really eye-opening here is is you watch your TV, but with this hack, your TV can watch you. Show us how that works. So one of the things that we were able to do with the Smart TV platform was actually um, abuse the, the browser it, to, to the extent that we could actually gain access to the camera that's built into the TV. Right. And so what we can prove here is that with a little bit of extra code, we can turn the camera on in your browser. Wow. And while this is evident to you right here because, we, uh, because we've designed it that way, this is something that we can do invisibly and actually have the camera running behind the web page that you're, that you're looking at. So what this means is I could be sitting here watching TV from my, from my bedroom, and you could be anywhere in the world looking at this image of me watching. Yep, I could be sitting on a laptop in a cafe in Paris, and as long as I have a network connection, I'd be able to get into your TV and access the camera. The kind of scary things about it is that it doesn't actually give any indication that the camera's on, um, and there is no little LED that shows up when the camera's on. So it could actually be watching you, and you'd never even know. What is a, a smart TV, and wh why is it a playground, essentially, for hackers? Right. It's a computer. So instead of just being you know, a tube and some other electronics, um, now it has a web browser, and it has you know, a lot of devices are running Linux. But the real danger is um, when people start using smart TVs for things like online banking, we can take a popular bank address and translate that into um, a different IP address to a site that, that directs to a site that we control. So it may look like your bank's login, but you're actually entering a username and password that goes to us instead of your bank. In a statement to CNN Money, Samsung says it takes consumer privacy very seriously. The camera can be turned into the bezel of the TV so that the lens is covered or disabled by pushing the camera inside the bezel. The TV owner can also unplug the TV from the home network when the smart TV features are not in use. As an added precaution, we also recommend that customers use encrypted wireless access points when using connected devices. For those of us who are a little freaked out and maybe don't, don't trust all these updates, what's the easiest fix? So one of the things that you could do with the smart TV, which you can also do with your laptops, is just cover up the camera. Put a little post-it note over it, a piece of tape. And next time that you want to Skype with your family, just take it off.